Okay, for the first step, uh, we'll pull this air cover thing off here. There's 10 pop clips. I've removed them. But they, they're, they basically just go along the edge all the way around it. You'll see these holes where these clips go. And then there will be uh, your uh, hood release clip. There's two T15 bolts here. And you just simply undo them, slide the handle off, and then I just stick them in there so I don't lose them. And then uh, once you do all that, you just literally lift straight up on it and out it comes. All right, so once you pull this, uh, I guess this front plastic cover that sits on top, you have to undo four 10 millimeter bolts. Just right up here along the top. You need to pull part of your um, uh, mud flap off. And there will be these two screws, one down here, one up here. These two guys need to come out. And then once they do, you can pull this guy out. Uh, this just pulls straight out, just towards you. They'll pop right out, they're little pop clips, I'll show you here. Just straight towards you. You can see, there's a screw that you need to get to right there. Uh, this guy right here. Now, you need to be careful trying to not remove these guys, because honestly, they're a pain. I had to pull the entire um, uh, fender flare off and then redo it. Put all the clips back in and then pop it back in, so be careful. Now I'm on the other side where I have done this. So once you pull part of the fender flare off, uh, I was just lazy and pulled the whole thing. You can undo this bolt and then you undo those two screws. So this way you have this bumper is attached there and here. All you gotta do is just pull this guy straight out all along. But anyway, you'll pull these guys out and it'll just pull all along here. You just pull it straight towards you. And there are two push clips in here. And uh, there's a few clips along the edge. So basically it's just walk it out, pull straight forward, and the clip should come undone. Here behind the bumper on both sides, there's the fog lights and you will have to disconnect the harness from them. It's just a push clip that you pull out and then there's a little pop pin that kind of holds the harness in place. You can just yank that right out. You're going to be walking things off along this lower bumper. So once you get to about this part, you actually have to get underneath it. There we go. Alright, so the flashlight's on. You get underneath the truck. I've already been playing around here. The one that we're concerned about is this guy. So. It's actually kind of soft. There's no easy way to remove it. I couldn't figure out how to remove it without having to remove this whole lower bumper. So you can kind of peel it up. And then what you'll do is as you're walking it off, you'll push up on this clip to release it from this lower black, black clip. Now keep in mind, there's actually, there's another one that I can't seem to, there it is. So there's, there's two that are really hard to get to up there. So good luck. Okay, now that the fog light trim piece is removed, uh, there will be three screws, they're 10 millimeter, along the bottom. You simply remove those. You will lift up straight up just a little bit and you'll release underneath each of these. There's a little bit of a key, but there's also a piece of plastic that goes straight in here. So what you do is you lift it up just a little bit and pull forward towards the front of the vehicle. Um, there's two T25 screws on the back that hold this camera in place. Uh, I would have it ready before you pull this so that way you can just undo it because it's kind of difficult to remove the connector from the camera. Uh, undo the T25 screws and then the camera will just come right out. You can set it off to the side and remove the whole grill. Alright, excuse the wonderful angle but basically I just kind of pull on the sides here up just a little. You'll kind of feel once you get up there it kind of comes free and it'll slide forward just a bit so you can kind of see it comes free here's uh, one of those plastic pieces I was talking about you don't want to break so you don't just pull straight up and then at this point uh, there were those three clips that sit behind it they're like those push clips uh, they're pretty pretty firm one sits here one sits pretty much behind this M and the other sits right here on the right you got to pull all three out they will just uh, cl uh, click as long as you've got these three bolts on the bottom undone, 
and these guys up here are just starting to come out you'll feel that they're a little bit free nothing special here once you do that it's pretty much just grab the bumper and pull straight out towards you just straight towards the front of the vehicle don't need to pull up or anything and it'll come free 